Hey, welcome back to Tonsor's channel. So for today, we got a special um, set review, um, unboxing. Um, here's one clue of it. I'm wearing, oh, but I have it on reverse, but I have this BWO tank top. So <clears throat> um, if you can guess it, um, it's the WWE Elite Mattel Legends 11 series. Um, reason I'm wearing it because um, Bam Bam Bigelow is in the set. And um, of course he's a ECW, former ECW uh, wrestler. Um, no longer with us, but um, still very cool to have him um, in the ECW form. So um, let's take a look at the... Mattel's Legends Elite Series 11 set. Alright, so here we have the full set, including the Chase figure, um, Series 11 Mattel WWE Elite Legends Series. So this is a really, really cool set. Um, it was not as hard as I thought to find these. Um, Let's go through each um, end box first. So first, let's take a look at Bam Bam Bigelow. So this is his <coughs> ECW form. He comes with the ECW t TV title um, in his gray and black attire. So Bam Bam is no longer with us, but he was really one of my favorite um, wrestlers growing up. It's really a shame like, to think that a lot of the ECW wrestlers are no longer with us. But this is super cool. Can't wait to get him out. And next we have Scott Hall. And again, he, WCW is one of my favorite brand growing up like I watch WCW over WWF WWE any day like even how bad it was um, it was a big part of my life and NWO was definitely a huge part so this is Scott Hall in his later run in WCW this is probably the like before he was released actually um, Scott Hall of course had a lot of problems with substance use but um still really really he changed his life around i believe so still a very very important part of my childhood growing up part of the nwo wolf pack or he wasn't really with them until the very end but yep so next here we have is uh, big john stud i actually believe this figure might be the hardest to find in the future or the rarest of the set um because it came out um in the, the case it alone in the stores and um that was early on where none of the other wrestlers were were on this case or in the store so now that we're getting the rest of the figures like Bam Bam, Scott Hall, and Macho Man. Um, we don't see much of Big John Stud. So I'm thinking it might be harder to find, but we'll see. Um, overall, great figure. I, I guess the newer generation of fans probably don't know much about Big John. Because I barely do, but I did watch a lot of old wrestling smiles growing up. So I know who he is and what he did. So next, one of my favorite wrestlers, Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh yeah. So this is a, close to a re-release. I believe we received a figures very similar, but this one comes with um, cream of the crop, pink attire, swappable hands. Just his very um, early on WWF look with the trunks and all. Yeah, we've got plenty of these figures, and that'd be actually be good to make a custom 
elite CM Punk with this. And we all know CM Punk recently returned, so very, very cool. So here is the chase version of the set, Macho Man in the yellow trunk. I'm not too familiar when I seen this attire, but I'll go back. Oh, actually, it'll probably say. Oh no, but I'll check. Um, I it, I initially thought it would be hard to find him, but uh, end up I finding him. I found him a few times actually. So I have another I'll keep mocked or mint on card and open this up for this review. All right, so here we have it. We have the set right here, and let's get it open up. All right, so I have all the figures out package. We'll go through each and see how it is. So first off, we got Bam Bam Bigelow. The head scan looks fantastic compared to his early releases. It's amazing. Got his likeness. You can definitely put them in the ECW section or the WCW section, but I'll probably keep it either or. Um, the TV title looks very cool. Not much to say, but glad we have another ECW title. And here we are, we got the Bam Bam logo on the stomach. Paint job could have been better. I noted, like, while I looked at these packages, it's like there's always paint flaws on the highly detailed figure, so this is the best I got for Bam Bam figure. But, you know, not too bad. Can't really tell when you're far away or what to display. See? Some little stuff on his butt there. Yeah, the paint. But the tattoos are pretty nicely done. Yep. So definitely would. My favorite out of the set is Bam Bam. Just cause, you know, I've been waiting for WCW version or ECW WCW version. Comes with the swappable hands as well. Very nice. Next up, we have Scout Owl. Survey says So I was watching SummerSlam last night uh, SummerSlam 2021 <laughs> uh, Not sure how I feel but um, Xavier Woods actually came out and, um, Kind of did a promo like Scott Hall Out of tribute or respect So pretty cool Comes with um, WCW microphone Very cool This nice silk Wolfpack tank, NWO Wolfpack, removable bandana, his trademark. The face scan for all the Scott Hall figures, I'll say, is better than the Razor Ramon. I'm still trying to find a way for a decent Razor Ramon scan. Um, comes with the Wolfpack uh, or Too Sweet hand sign. It's General Red Tire Hall, the, the Red Drip. Back of the tights, it says Wolfpack. So very cool to add him. And once again, big fan of WCW and ECW, so these two are pretty cool to have, I'll say. Very nice. And also the extra hands, it comes with um, open fists, another pair of two sweet, and one of the cooler ones I see. Is the thumbs in like the ones where he's doing that that Razor Ramon like pointing himself pose where he jumps and points? So it's cool to have this finally. All right, next up, Big John Stud again. I think this will be the rarest of the set, but again, no one really follow early on 1980s. Wrestling 19, yeah. Big John Stud, or that's the time I watched um, and saw him. Um, has the BJ, for <laughs> Big John Stud with the S around. Um, got the robe on. Just not a very like highly detailed figure, I'll say. 
because his attire wasn't really flashy as well but very cool to have you know, with the Andre Giant or you know, something and then next up we got the Macho Man Randy Savage oh yeah Damn. So there is differences with this figure compared to his early release. Um, for example, the T-shirt, it has a rip cutouts on the side instead of a general T-shirt. And the material is a little cheaper, I'll say. It's very thin. Got the pink trunk with three stars. Yellow boots, two stars. Macho Man on the back of the trunk. One thing I'll say about the Macho Man figures, they still need to work on the head mold because that head mold does not capture Macho Man. First off, he didn't have that much hair, I would say. And he used he always had trademark bald spot. And you know, this is not really accurate when he is without the bandana. So that's one thing I'll look for um, Mattel to fix, but other than that, they got the likeness really well. Like the Grimace Macho Man craze look, super cool. So let me try to put this back on with one hand. There we go. He got the cream of the crop there. I don't know what that is, I can't recall. But he's holding like a t little teacup or something, or like a chalk. I'm not sure. I'll. That's one thing I'm not too sure. And he comes with swappable hands, so pay attention to these because it has a bandage on it. I'm gonna check because when I open up the other Macho Man, the Chase version, here it is. There is no bandage on his hands, even the swappable ones. And this one's just a general all yellow attire, so it's very cool. Again, I'm not too sure when this was made or when he wrestled this. The bandana is different too. It's like a purplish pink bandana, cream of the crop, and then his wristband is the pink wristband instead. And like I said, the extra pair of hands. Well, we got the Extra pair of hands don't have the bandage, so I'm not sure if that's all the chase. I'm gonna check later. Um, it might be just because it's the chase version. So yep, this is Series 11 Elite Mattel Legend. Oh, man, I totally butchered that. Mattel WWE Elite Legend Series 11 set. Bam Bam Bigelow, Scott Hall. Big John Stud, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Chase Macho Man Randy Savage. I highly recommend picking this up. It should be showing up in stores. Um, and, you know, don't give up. It's going to be there. Um, do your legwork and try to find them. Um, don't do be like other re scalpers and resellers. Buy, buys the whole set. I don't get that point. That's ridiculous. And if you're a collector helping collector, you know, keep them at the minimum. You don't need to buy all of it and ruin the fun for others, you know. People are trying to find it, we're doing our legwork, and it just takes the fun out when everyone buys up everything. So, have fun, happy toy hunting. Please like and subscribe.